Oh, God. Okay, we are actually live. Welcome tonight, you all, to the Winning Women Network Hangout, where um, women come on here every single week, actually. We, I don't know how long we've been doing this. It seems like we've been doing this about hmm, maybe nine months at this point. So by this time, if I had started Winning Women Network um, and been gotten pregnant, <laughs> I'll be giving birth by this time. <laughs> Um, we're actually, but anyways, to be serious, like I kept my little niece over the weekend and trust me, you never have to worry about me having any more kids after that experience. But anyways, guys, love you. <laughs> Welcome to Winning Women Network. Well, you just see, this is what happens every single week. You never know what you're going to get. But tonight I have some amazing women that have joined me that I'm so excited to, um, to share this platform with um, all over the world. Right from the ATL all the way up here to the big city rents in Washington, we have women that are on here that um, we're going to talk about life changes, right? Life changing, how this company has changed our lives. And um, tonight, you know, let me put a um, disclaimer out. You know, there's there may be income mentions tonight. There's no guarantee, right? It's no guarantee of income. I can't guarantee you if you get started tonight, your life will be changed at all, right? I don't know what will happen, okay? But I know what is possible, right? And so we just wanted to, you know, have this platform. This is a part, it's actually free, part of the unit of prosperity, which is the team that we're part of. UOP, stand up. I don't have my UOP, my Winning Women Network shirt on, shirt on tonight, you guys. But anyway, but it's a free, you know, these are, this is um, a mastermind we have inside of the unit of prosperity um, that, you know, women come together. I think we're about 3,500, almost 4,000 strong. Inside of a group, we connect, we support, we push, we motivate, we encourage, we cry, we empower, we laugh. Uh, we do all of that together. Um, so thanks for showing up, those of you who showed up tonight. Um, just to give you, um, I am tonight, we are tonight, the Winning Women Network is actually giving away a free gift card. So somebody, some lucky person who decided to click on the link and join us tonight, will have $50 extra in their pocket to go to Amazon and buy whatever they like. Now you all must know that we are we love Amazon, okay? <laughs> so I wouldn't buy you a gift card. We're not getting a gift card from any other store besides the one that we are so dearly in love with. So listen to the stories tonight, you all, <laughs> and um, and we hope that you're empowered, right? And you walk away from here and know that your life can change as well, okay? So <clears throat> with that being said, can someone just make sure that we're streaming on the website and everything? Because I don't want to be sitting up here talking and no one can actually hear me. So if you guys can just chime in and let me know about that. But <clears throat> I have some le a lovely panel of ladies tonight. And we're not sure, you know, how we want to flow this. I'll be honest with you. I'm always, if you all know me, I have a blue personality type. I never know what I really want to do. But I do know I like to change lives. And so that you can be for sure that that will happen tonight. So I have a co-host that's with me tonight, Miss Seanette Sampson, which I can literally run to her house from mine, which is kind of cool. <laughs> we have a very long story together. We will not go into the details on that on the show tonight. Talking, <laughs> no one can actually. Awesome. Are we streaming? Yes, we are. Awesome, Seanette, Thanks for uh, for joining me tonight on the hangout. How's it going? It's going good. Thanks for having me tonight. I'm excited. You are. How's dance going? This is a dance dancing mompreneur here, you guys. She doesn't actually dance. Let me make sure that I like clear it up. She's not the dancer, but she no. has children that dance. How's the dancing going, Seanette? It's it's been going good. Yeah, I have two daughters that are very very active in dance, both from church and um. And, and at a dance studio, and which is one of my, you know, I can't believe still sometimes I got two dancers because I don't dance, but because that's their vision, I want to be able to support them, and that's another reason why I'm grateful to be a part of this opportunity because it allows me that freedom to be able to um, be a part of my da my daughter's dance, you know, what they want to do, and because they they spend a lot of hours in dancing, and so I'm able to also support them and still work my business while they're practicing or having shows or whatnot so I love it awesome so tell me about what's your what is your week like like what is what is your week like being a dancer because I don't have any girls I have boys so I don't know I don't have any I don't know nothing about dancing All but right. what's your week like well my week like is basically well now our schedule just changed for church um, we have dance uh, you know girls have dance practice after church 
and then so that's Sunday and then Monday my daughter has a, a modern dance class um, that's for like almost two hours we're there and then Wednesday I mean I'm sorry Tuesday there's another two three hours of dance for tap and hip-hop and then Wednesday there's hip-hop and then Thursday there's tap again so basically five days a week we're at dance and if there's a show Friday or Saturday because my one of my, my youngest daughter is a part of the performing company where they go around the city and perform and then sometimes they go out of state to actual train so um, you know that's even not even including the hours so we spend at least 10 hours 10 to 12 hours a week just on performing or I'm sorry practicing getting ready for performances okay so Shauna I know there has to be some moms that are listening on here tonight and they're probably saying, and actually, let me say, and probably moms, dads, grandparents, and all, trying to figure out. Okay, so when, when do you build your business? When do you, when do you do that? Well, because see, I'm I'm full time now. I have to do say this because I've got I've, in the past I've made some statements, so I need to kind of cover that up. I do own and operate a real estate company. And so even around that, I still run this business because it's just that simple. So I spend, you know, a majority of my time still operating and building um, my business. So I, I basically, after I drop my girls off in the morning, I, I come home and I do my morning rituals, and then I start the business until they're off until um, about three o'clock, where my time has to then has to turn over to them, and you know, because oh, my oldest does volleyball, so now I have to go to her games and you know help help support her. So basically, in the evenings, I'm pretty much done after three after four o'clock. In the afternoon. Okay. Yeah, my time is being devoted to them. Gotcha. So this is definitely something, would you say, that people can do very part time? Yes. Interfering what you know in in their life, you know. So yeah. definitely part time. Yeah, without a doubt, it's it's so easy, it's so simple, and and I'm one of those that made because I'm so. Like I said, my background is I've owned both a mortgage company and a real estate company, and I'm used to, um, you know, when you have to create a company, you have to put a company together, it takes a lot of time, effort, and money, and there's a lot of stuff you have to do to build that business. Well, when I came into this business, I put too much, because it was just too easy for me, and so I put too much effort in, in building the from the beginning, from what I learned, and made it more, probably worse than what it was, and then once I simplified it, things got easier and better. So, I mean, it's just so simple. Gotcha. Okay. Awesome. It's amazing to have you tonight, Seanette. Now, you all listen. There is going to be, um, you're going to want to pay close attention, okay, to what is being said tonight because how you're going to win the Amazon gift card is that, is that you're, going to, you're going to be questioned um, about, about what is being said tonight, okay? So I just want to make sure that everyone knows that you guys that are just now joining us just know that, that I'm I'm going to be um, presenting a winner tonight with an Amazon gift card fifty dollars right there is something you have to do okay but just be aware of what people are saying tonight because I am making a mental note and there will be something that I'll pull from one something that someone has said tonight that you it's really simple to win honestly I was like man I wish I could find somewhere I can go and get fifty dollars for this. <laughs> <laughs> or something so simple. But I really want lives to be changed, you all. That is the whole goal of, of what we do and why we do what we do. Now, Shauna, your your daughters have gone. You had to go to a um, a dance conference or something, like over in the East Coast. And how did how did DS, how did this company help with that? Okay, okay. My daughter, my, old, my youngest daughter, who is a part of a performing company, one of the requirements is that every year they have to um, go to Chicago to train, which is uh, for TAP. And, um, I, and that's how I even found out or gave uh, DS Domination an opportunity because, again, I'm in real estate, and for me, real estate is up and down. And for like the last two years, I really haven't been practicing, and I needed something that I could still keep my daughters in dance. And I was looking for an opportunity without having to go get a part-time job because me being a single mom, I need to be a part of their lives as much as possible. And when I was introduced to DS Domination, I saw it and I was like, well, I should be able to do this. And not only was, you know, has it been successful for me, but um, it had came up to a point where I had to hurry up and come up with money for to send my daughter to Chicago. And 
um, just like within a few weeks, the $1,600 that I need, I was able to take it and give them the money and send her off to Chicago with no problem. And all because of the system that's been in place. So, and, and just like right now, we're uh, scheduled to go to uh, Brazil in April. And, you know, I was looking around at some of the parents as when they found out what the price is going to be. You know, I was seeing how everybody was kind of like, you could see the stress, and some of the parents was like, well, we're just going to have to go get a mortgage our house and, you know, just do stuff. But they want to support their kids. And I was like, I don't have to worry. I've got DS domination. I don't have to worry. I have this opportunity that I'm going to be able to, you know, uh, uh, take my daughter and send her without having to borrow any money or do anything like that. So I was like, I have something here that works. And, you know, even my daughter was like, Mom, we're, we got DS domination. We're going to make it. So, you know, we're going, oh, we're going to Brazil. It's amazing when the kids, you know, believe, you know, you know, buy the dream. Sometimes the kids buy the dream before we do, right? They believe in the vision, right? This will work. This, you know, this can happen. So, awesome. And I do know your daughter, so I know, I know how they are. Okay. <laughs> At least I know that oldest one. I know she probably say, "Look, you know." <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Late. All right. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for coming out, answering that. Hopefully, um, someone was inspired. Some dance mom because. The thing about it, Shauna and I have talked a lot about, you know, what she does and, and, you know, and even dance. And we talk about how many parents get their kids involved in dance, okay? And then once that price tag, right, because it's just like, oh, it's just only probably, you know, $100 to get them signed up for the initial class or, you know, whatever. And then once you get in there and realize you got to get those shoes, you got to get them costumes, you got to travel, you got to do this, you got to do that. And many kids are not even living their dreams because their parents cannot afford it. They can't, you know, they just simply cannot, you know, they, they got to, you know, pay the mortgage, you know, or this. And it's like, well, dance, all that extracurricular activity is gone. Right. right? And so we have a way that many of you can, you know, can finance your kids to stay in dance. Maybe you just do the business for deep, for your kids to be in dance. Or my son, my son wants to play um, AAU basketball, you guys. And they talk to me about, you know, they have to go on these trips. They have to go this. They have to go that. You know, and for us, it's like, okay, well, I guess that's what we have to do, right? Um, but many parents aren't able to do that. And so we definitely have a solution. For the mom, the dance mom, the wannabe dance moms, if you want to be a dance mom, right, and, you know, maybe you've been invited here tonight, connect with Shawnette, right? You want to know how she, you know, financing her daughter's dance dreams, I would be, I would be reaching out to her right about now. <laughs> I would be getting started, okay? Awesome. Thanks so much. All right. Ooh, I got all these moms. I got all these activities and stuff. Look at Lysandra. Woo-hoo! Lysandra, every time you guys, me and just Lysandra are just, <laughs> I don't know, we just act a fool, I don't know why. <laughs> Lysandra, you here? You're muted though. I'm just talking, I can't even hear you. Lysandra, you're muted. She just going to town talking too, wait a minute. Lysandra, you gotta unmute yourself. <laughs> unmute. We can't hear you. Hot dog, did you take your headphones off and like disconnect something or do something? Oh God, I tell you, these winning women in these microphones, okay? Lord bless them. We go, hey, you guys, tonight we're taking up a collection for microphones. <laughs> tonight, <laughs> tonight we're taking up a collection for microphones, okay? No, I'm just messing. Awesome. Listen, you gotta get. I don't know what happened because we just heard you a minute ago, so. I don't know, you took your headset off and then there you go. Aida, what's going on, girl? We have some pretty earrings on, okay? Let's see, can I hear you? Yes, I'm here. Yay! I can hear you. Hi, how are you you doing? I'm good, how are you? (laughs) I'm doing great. Um, well, it's good to see you on the Hangout tonight. Um, Lakeisha Hankins is asking for a collection for a Mac. (laughs) We are going to... We're going to create a GoFundMe link tonight, um, and that is for uh, we're going to take up an offer for microphones and MacBooks. Okay, so <laughs> that's what happens when you join the Winning Women Network. We convert you. Okay, we're we are converting you to the Mac. <laughs> okay, so there's no endorsement. Um, there, we don't get paid anything. Actually, you know what? I'm like. I don't need to tell Apple, like, I can put something back here, okay? And they can pay me for, um, you know, for promoting their product because I am a, you know, Mac user. Awesome. I eat, I'm sorry. I just segue all the way over there and stuff. How are you tonight? I'm doing great. You're doing great. 
Well, your earrings are lovely. Did you make those or did you buy those? No, that's a thrift store. They were $3. Oh, wow. Yeah. You found those on eBay? Oh, no. I, I have an <laughs> earring collection. That's my thing. Oh, really? <laughs> Okay. Yes. I like earrings. Okay. Um, well, my story, I've been with DS Domination since March. Um, and since then, I learned a lot along the way. Actually, I had just gotten out of the military in 2009. And I was looking to do some type of work from home, but I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. So while going to school full time, I started selling on eBay. And while selling on eBay, I noticed things sell pretty quickly. I didn't have a problem with turning over. It's just I got tired of going to the post office. Mm. So actually in March, I was going through a natural hair group and I came, across, I came across Alicia Johnson, who's actually on the panel, and she had posted an ad for anyone wanting to work, you know, work from home on eBay. So I messaged her and I actually spoke with her on the phone and because she was so excited about it, I could see the benefit in it. So after speaking with her, I joined and I would say within the first 10 days, I upgraded, and I continued to upgrade until I had everything. But um, since joining, it's been life-changing because I already had a business selling shea butter and natural oils, but I kind of got stuck with what to do next. Whereas DS Domination was so simple, I was able to immediately come in, join, and make money. So my first month, I made $1,100, and the second month, I did $1,400. And since then, I've been steadily growing and increasing. And although you don't have to, you know, you don't have to bring people in and sign people up, it's just something that goes along with it. So since then, people see, have seen my success and they've joined me. My mom, two of my sisters, some friends, other people that just happen to see me on Facebook and they join my team. So, I mean, that along with my kids actually going out shopping with me. Because I, I sell on Amazon as well. So well, it's more of a family affair. We're all included and we're all making money, you know, doing this from home so I don't have to leave the home to work. So I'm able to actually stay home and homeschool my three-year-old. So I'm just enjoying the experience. Nice. So you were already on eBay and you already were kind of familiar with that platform. So just wanted to change change it. So you would say it's much easier so if there's someone here, right, and they're like an already, because like some people are already on eBay, right, and they think they're like, why do I need to do this if I'm already on eBay, right? What's the point? Can you explain to them, like, what would be, the, what's the point? Well, actually, for me, um, out, as of next month, I'll be an eBay seller for two years, a power seller on eBay. The problem with that was I had to go to the post office and ship my products. Like, I actually sold items from the thrift store. I was able to flip them and make good money. But joining DSV, I was able to drop ship, which didn't require me to go to the post office. I couldn't, you know, I got tired of taking my kids into the post office and handling this, and then the price might be different from what I originally thought it was. Drop shipping, you pretty much set your price, you go back, order the item, and that's it. You're on to the next thing. So my money, it was pre it's pretty simple. If you're already a seller, then you're already ahead of the game. But either way, you kind of, it's a no-brainer. You can make money from the beginning. That's just you following the training. So you just basically apply what you learn and continue on there. Actually, um, yesterday I checked my email, and the item that I found, dollars actually just sold for $90 on Amazon. That so, I mean, hello? Yeah, you said the item was what? It was that I found at the thrift store for $2. I had scanned using the app. That it was selling on e it was selling on Amazon and I sold it for ninety dollars. It was a two dollar purchase for me, but I sold it for ninety dollars. So I mean, and that happens to me re routinely. This item, <laughs> this stylus, I found it at Michaels for dollars and change. I sold four of them for eighty five dollars two days ago on Amazon. So it's like you basically stumble upon things. I find things just shopping and handling my day to day tasks. I went to Costco today. I had no plans on buying items to send into Amazon, but I found some doll babies that were $12 that are selling for $35, but I know I'm going to be able to make $60 on a $12 purchase. So I bought 20 of those, and I'll be shipping those in tomorrow. And so basically the only thing that limits you is, you know, what you're willing to do or, you know, simple. You just follow the training and you make money. So. 
Oh my god, I can just I'm like I'm laughing to keep her crying. Like like she <laughs> she got a two dollar yeah, you know, I'm just like, oh my god. Sometimes I'm like, oh, this is just too easy. Oh my god. That is that's life changing. So what is so what has the money done for you? Okay, so let's talk about that. I mean, what has the money done? Yeah, she said ninety dollars, Keisha. It was two dollar item, she sold it for ninety dollars on. So what what has the money done for you? Right? Well, the money is helping me to show my kids that there's another way to work. Um, some people, they want to go out and work a nine-to-five and show their kids that this is how you make money. I want to show my kids an alternate way. For 10 years, I was in the military working for someone else, doing what someone else told me to do. So after 10 years of service, I was able to actually leave. You know, I get disability pay, and I get my other benefits, but I don't have to do that anymore. Now I make my own schedule. I travel when I want. Me and my husband make our own plans and do what we want for our kids. I mean, we were able to take a road trip from our home in Maryland to California, and our kids were able to experience that round trip. We just drove in you know, days. We drove there, took the kids out, let them do what they want. We got to just document that way back. But this opportunity is giving me the chance to, you know, do something different for our family, to get the things that we want and get the things that we need without stressing over someone else making the plans for you. You you make you make your own destiny. And that's what I enjoy about it. Nice. And that's what I wanted to hear. See, it's see, people aren't motivated by money. Just, you know, by sh by money. They aren't, right? It's just not right. it's just not a motivator. It's not it's it's that you're able to take a road trip and and pay, right? And not even and then one to take a 10-day road trip, I'm sorry, there's no, you know, you got to take two weeks of vacation and then all your sick days. Right. You get there and come back, and then you done drove for, you know, you done a 10-day road trip, you come back, then you got to go to work the next day. Like, who wants to do that, right? That's, who right. wants to do that? Nobody. So, I mean, that is just, that's awesome, right? And that's an experience, that's a memory that your kids, right, they will remember that. They won't remember, right. you know, $100 here, $100 there. They don't going to remember that money. But they'll remember that experience when the family took a road trip all the way to California and back and who did this and somebody, you know, passed gas in the car, you know, and what happened. And mom, <laughs> like, that's the stuff that matters. At the end of the day, you guys, it's, it's the memories that really, that really matter, <laughs> okay? Money is cool. Trust me, I do. I would rather I don't ever want to experience being without it. So don't tell, don't don't act like you know. I don't want you to think that I'm saying that money is irrelevant. But it's really what can the money do for you? And that's why we are presenting opportunity to you all tonight because it's really about what the money can do for you. What you know? What if you and your family could take a ten day road trip? What if you could take a five day road trip? You know, a one day road trip for the you know for goodness sake, whatever it is. But if you don't have the income or the time to be able to do that. Then it's just not possible, but it can be possible. It can be possible if you want it to be. So, thank you, Aida. I'm glad to hear that. You know, and, you. and can't wait to hear. You know, see some pictures and stuff like that if you posted any. You guys, this is this is just awesome, awesome, awesome. Now, I want to say this. I forgot to say this in the beginning. Our hashtag for tonight is Winning Women Network. Okay. So if you post on Facebook or you tweet. Or Instagram, any of those late uh, Google Plus, okay? Then the hashtag for tonight is Winning Women Network, all right? So W, you know, Winning Women Network, okay? And um, we, I want to hear, I want to be able to go to Facebook and I want to be able to find all the ahas that you guys had tonight, because that right there is like, I mean, you know, between her just, you know, not even, you know, really um, saying, okay, I'm going out to source, but to just, you know while you're out, right? You say, okay, well, I'm going to scan this. And then I know how it is because I do the same doggone thing. I'm going grocery shopping and I don't have any intentions of sourcing a single doggone thing. And then I go down the aisle and I see a new tag, okay? Anytime I go to the grocery store, and this is the, this is the tip for you that are in the grocery section, okay? So don't say I didn't share anything with you tonight. Anytime I go to the grocery store, if I see a tag and it says new, then I am, I want to find out, is that baby online somewhere, okay? That is how I, you know, find many things because I become, you know, in the marketplace, I'm the only one with it. So don't tell me that. <laughs> like, you know, if I'm the only one, if I'm the only one got it, come on now. 
So that's a tip for you all. So don't ask me, if, you know, don't send me a message about what can I sell. Come on. Watch TV for a little bit. Watch all the commercials. I say this all the time. Watch the TV commercials. Go to watch Nickelodeon with your kids. If you got kids, go and watch TV. Get the sale paper. Today is Sunday. Go and get the sale paper and see what's on sale. Go mine, okay? Awesome. So I just had to share that with you all. Thanks, Aida. I'm so glad you came on tonight. Lissandra. I can, can you hear me now? Yeah, girl, I can hear you. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Yes, child, I can hear you. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm excited to have you uh, now that you're on the East Coast and you can actually hang out with us. You know, Lissandra could not hang out with me at all because yeah, Lissandra, I don't know if you if you have you been on one of the Women Women Network hangouts. I, you know what? I don't know. I, I, I really, you know what? If I don't remember, then I have not. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't. I don't think so. I would have been. I would have known about that one. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, then introduce yourself because this is your first time here, and so tell everybody what's going on. Cause yeah. yeah. Well, I'm Lysandra Everett, and I'm I'm an Army wife. So, you know, I, Aida, I totally feel you. You know, I had to, I had to make the choice. You know, the Army was trying to deploy me. I had a seven month old baby boy. My husband's in the Army, and we're like, okay, this cannot happen. Um, so, you know, I had to make the choice, so I had to give up that side of my life and, you know, and keep it moving. Um, but, uh, you know, it, it's been a blessing. And, you know, DS Domination, I've been in with DS for uh, a little, old, well, almost a year. And so, you know, if you're listening and you're the skeptic, I want you to listen to me because I was the skeptic, okay? Um, because and I was looking for something really because I was tired you know I have I've tried so many things and you know in the in the home business industry and you know if you're you know if you're a, a party planner hey that's your thing I'm excited for you but it just did not work out for my family and so the money that I was making I was winding up paying for and babysitting fees and you know and I had so many people oh well just you know, let some little teenager watch your kids. I'm like, oh, hold on a minute. I don't know about <laughs> y'all teenagers. <laughs> the teenagers in your neighborhood, the teenagers in my neighborhood, I would not leave a cat with, okay? And I don't like cats. <laughs> so, you know, so, you know that, all of that was just so stressful, and I was just done. And so then here comes this thing. I said, no recruiting, no recruiting, no recruiting. I'm like, yeah, right, whatever, okay? I was a skeptic. So... I joined DS on Hush. I joined and I was like, don't you tell nobody I'm doing this, okay? Because I had to see. I had to see for myself. So I joined in December of last year and then we went on vacay to Vegas. So I had listed some things and it had probably been about three days, I guess. And so we were on our way. We were at the Hoover Dam and I looked down at my phone. And I see the eBay notification. Oh, shut up. Okay. And so then by the time we got back to the hotel that afternoon, there was another one. Oh, what? oh, all right. And so the real test for me was, can I do this on vacation and it's not interrupting my family time? Okay. So here I was. If you can picture this, it's the evening. We're in the hotel. My son had just gotten out of the shower. My daughter was in this huge bathtub. So I'm sitting in the bathroom with my daughter, you know, praying she don't drown in this big old bathtub, right? Because we stayed at Caesar's Palace, right? <laughs> but, and so while she was in the tub playing, having a good time, my son was getting dressed, watching Disney Channel, whatever. My husband was um, down in the hotel getting us some dinner. I shipped these two items and was done. Mm -hmm. So then I was like, okay, I am now convinced. And so when you love something and something is so easy, you know, and even, let me tell you guys, I just moved, I was just telling Keisha, I just moved to the East Coast. I moved from Paso Robles, California, all the way out to just south of D.C. I did this while I was moving, okay? I, you know, I, I shopped for some profits. I just happened to be shopping, trying to find something we needed while we were traveling and went, Ooh, hot dog. Okay, so um, I did. I, you know, I realized I'm like, okay, I'm not in my house. How am I going to print these labels? 
we just go to the hotel for I did this whole process while living in a hotel. Okay, so I am telling you, you do not, there, there is nothing so simple in my life. Am I saying that it's going to be a walk in the park? No, you got to put forth some effort, okay? You got to watch some videos. You got to do what it says. But even with all that's going on in, in my life, moving, I, you know, I got to get kids registered for school. I got these, I have two very active children, you know, zip lining one day. We had the movies today, all this other stuff. They want their mama to take them places. Okay, that's just how it is. They don't want to hear mommy has to work or no. They, when, they, when they say, mommy, can we go to the movies? All they want to hear is yes. And because of the domination, I can say yes. I can say yes more than I say no. The only time I say no is because they have ran me to death and I'm exhausted. <laughs> That's the only time I say no. No is, look, I am tired. Get out of my face. I need a nap. Call me in about two, three hours. <laughs> but that is the kind of freedom that DS domination has. I don't have to leave my children sitting at the dinner table trying to be on some webinar and trying to train and all of that stuff. I don't have to do that. When I joined DS Domination, I said, I just want to sit back quietly and make money. That's all I wanted to do. And after 30 days of sitting back quietly making money, I was like, uh-uh, I got to tell everybody. I'm telling everybody I know. And so, and, and I do. And it's because when you feel good about what it is that you're doing, you don't mind sharing it with other people and you don't care what they think because if you know not not too many things in life are almost stupid simple but y'all this is as close to stupid simple as it gets <laughs> all you got to do <laughs> close very yeah, yeah you know i i tell people i i keep it simple you know, when people want to know something complicated and break it down, they bring it to me. Because I, if you can't explain it to a first grader, don't bring it to me. I'm smart, but I don't like complicated. Okay? This is not complicated at all. Just follow this. You can learn how to smack it up, flip it, rub it down later. But the basics work for you. And that's all you got to do. Right. That's, that's, and it's definitely just that basic. I love it. Because I know, um, Cassandra, you and I both are probably in, 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 in the same companies at some point. Mm -hmm. and, it, and it wasn't that simple, right? You know, it's like. No, it wasn't all that kind of like, oh, you can just jump on in here and you don't have to do this and that and the other. Like, uh-uh, this, no, 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 no. This ain't as simple as you said, oh, so I need to go buy something else in order to make this right here work. It, mm -hmm. No, no. And that's what I loved about DS Domination. It is what it says it is. Yeah. And that's all there is to it, you know. And that's what makes me want to build a team. I know I don't have to build a team. I know that. But I know that there are people that are just as tired and frustrated as I was. And this is this is some freedom stuff right here. This is some lifting, some weight off some shoulders. You ain't got to worry about um, you know, having to go spend all these thousands of dollars, you know. You, and what I love about our team is our team is really run on integrity. Okay, that is one of the best things. I love me some Keisha Bass. I love me some Reginald Stinson because they gonna tell you straight up. You know, hey, you need to upgrade these, and you, and you do. When you when you're making your money and you can reinvest in your business, that's when you go and upgrade to the next level. Don't stay at the base level. The base level is great. You make money, but hey, you make more money. <laughs> More product, more money, okay? And so, but you know what? But this team is run on integrity. They're not telling you to go and, you know, hawk a lung and go donate plasma and all this other foolishness. You know, it's make your money and then reinvest back into your business and grow a responsible business that can sustain you. And you're not over there, you know, taking food out of your children's mouth trying to go buy some product because somebody's telling you you ain't serious about your business if you don't. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. That is that's what to me sets the unit of prosperity apart. 
They're telling you how to grow a responsible, sustainable business. And I, yeah, you're right. We've been some places where it said, you know, if you didn't. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I mean, you can you can go talk about my team if you want to. That's like talking about my mama. I'll meet you in the parking lot, okay? Just, <laughs> I'm gonna be none. Don't let the <laughs> Sandra is crazy, you all. I'm glad. I love you in the name of Jesus, so okay. <laughs> it is, it, you know, but the cool thing is that you can't. Can't beat this community, man. I mean, like I tell people, I will pay twenty dollars just to be around you guys. I mean, that's just you know, I mean, just to be a part of the community, a real community, right? Where you know people are learning and growing and helping and serving, and um, you know, I, I would pay that just for that, in spite of you know getting the training. And I, you know, for me getting into DS two was like the meat and potatoes on the front end. And I've been, you know, you get through, you get in companies that's like, oh, well, wait, if you want to get the real secrets, you got to go and get this. Wait a minute, now you get that. It's like, wait, well, now you got to go and get this, right? And you got to, and it's like constantly, constantly, you're chasing the how do I build. And it was like, for DS, it was like, okay, at the pro level, right, you should be able to get in, you know, I can't guarantee it. Now, I'm going to put this disclaimer because I don't want nobody to you know, write me talking about it. You guaranteed me. No, I did not. I can't guarantee you, but I do know all the information that you need, okay, are you required. I don't just like to put need, but all the information that is required for you to build a successful business is at the pro level. It really is. <laughs> it really is right there. And, I, you know, and like many of us have upgraded and stuff like that, but it was a responsible decision, right? I didn't go and upgrade, you know, and then knowing that, you know, something, you know, something was going to, like she said, I'm taking food out of my kid's mouth. No one's a responsible, you know, I, mine was a riskier. Now, see, I had a, I had a risky upgrade path, okay? And so let me, let me say that. Mine was riskier than others, right? But we do teach you to do a responsible thing, but nobody, not one time, did Reginald tell me, um, Keisha, you know, go and, you know, get a, a loan on your car, or, you know what I'm saying, or, or go and, and get a new credit card, you know, whatever, right? That wasn't said to me. Now, you know, I, I'm a person that said I always live in the solution. So if the solution for me was to go and get a credit card, right, and I made that decision on my own and no one was forcing me to do it, that's totally different, right? Totally different thing besides someone saying that if you don't do something, then, you know, you're whatever. So, you know, I'm talking about. Um, awesome. Cool, Lissandra. I'm so glad you were here tonight. We have some amazing ladies. Now, you guys, listen. We are giving away an Amazon gift card, okay? But you got to stay to the end. So you got to tough. You know, you got to stay and hear the stories. You can't. I can't give it away at the middle of the hangout because you know you gotta, man. You gotta, you gotta stay to the end. So just stay to the end. And, uh, we got some good stuff. Now, I'm gonna pause. Let me see how many more ladies I got. I got to pause for a commercial break, okay? <laughs> like this is like the TV show, okay? So you guys can unmute yourself. This is the TV break, okay? <laughs> so those of you who are watching live, okay? Then I'm prepping you for our, you know, our TV show that will be airing sometime in the near future. Um, <clears throat> but listen, we do have some commercial. We have some announcements, okay? Now the UOP, the United Prosperity, and the Atlanta team, okay, are having an event that you want to be at. You guys, you know what? I did go and look at tickets, too. I had said, I mentioned to someone about flying there, and I did go and look at the tickets. I wanted to see how much would it cost me to fly into Atlanta for this event. I really did. It was $644 for me to come. So I got to I gotta send a message to Jock. <laughs> I got to send a message to Jock. So all I need, I said, no, this is like church. All I need is for six people to send me $100, and I get my ticket, and I'll be in Atlanta, all right? So <laughs> you guys know my PayPal. I'll let you know my PayPal because if you, I'll be in Atlanta. But I need to check the ticket price because <laughs> uh, I'm definitely tempted. Okay, Lakeisha, you are here tonight. Commercial break's over. Lakeisha, can you talk to us about the Atlanta event? What's happening in Atlanta? Why should people go? Um, You know, all that good stuff. So this is our, one of our Atlanta First leaders. of all, can you can you hear me? Yes, talk fast. 
Yes, okay, <laughs> okay, I'm talk fast. Yes, um, as Keisha said, we are having our first like Super Saturday event here in Atlanta, and you don't want to miss this. It's next Saturday. If you are in driving distance or in the area and you ready to take your business to the next level, you definitely want to be there. Um, the event is going to be held by some of our leaders here in Atlanta. Um, Jack Morris, as um, Keisha Bass mis mentioned, Mr. Shirt and Tie Guy himself is going to be doing some training on YouTube and Thomas Glover, Glover also. Um, he's also in our um, Facebook group, and I don't know how if many of you met him. He actually personally sponsored Reginald. So we call him Mr. eBay here, so he's going to be sharing some of his eBay techniques with us. And Latanya Jones also out here in um, Atlanta as well. Um, she's just been a beast on Facebook, so she's going to be sharing some of her Facebook techniques techniques and I'm going to be doing some mindset some personal development training as well so we are super excited and the tickets are like only like 10 bucks like so and I would probably the amount of value you're going to be getting of course I believe they should be a lot higher but if you can get your ticket definitely you want to go to atluopevents.com and get there get your team there um, you don't want to miss this event this is our first one of many and I'm sure it's just going to be explosive. And I hope you got all that because I so cannot hear you, Keisha. I just muted myself. Sorry, I was posting the event on our um, on the Winning Women Network. The comments there, so you all that want to register, I mean, like ten dollars. Um, that should be packed out already. So you all should be rushing over to actually register tonight for the um, the ATL event. Okay, go right on over there and register for that tonight, so that um, you can learn how to build your business. And for ten dollars, you all, that's just that's peanuts, just peanuts to learn how to build your business. So rush over there. Awesome. Thanks, Lakeisha, for um, all that you do and stuff like that for the team and um, over in Atlanta. You are a rock star. I'm glad your mic is working tonight. So what's been going on actually in, um, in your life? We haven't talked in a long time. What's going on over there? You, got, you have Girl Scouts and all that kind of stuff as well. So how is the thing? Yes. I am a busy mom, and I still work outside the house. So, um, so it's like busy mom, ministry, Girl Scouts, um, Brownie troop leader, so definitely a, live definitely a busy lifestyle. But you know, DS domination makes it possible. Where I know, like one day temporarily, you know, I've put it out there that I will be, you know, submitting my notice and being able to actually do DS domination and do my coaching business full time because of this opportunity. Um, and what I love about it, Keisha, because um, you know, just to share my story, when I first got started, I said I wanted nothing to do with anything that looked like MLM, online, networking, or any of that. I was done with it. I was tired of all the noise that, you know, all the different companies were making. Get in, you know, get rich, bring your three, and they get their three, and everybody, you know, we can all change our zip codes pretty much. <laughs> and that was just not happening. And I was just, you know, so tired of noise. And with DS Domination, it was, you know, it's totally different. People are excited. But it's because they're having success, their team members are having success, and it's not just, you know, a few people at the top of, uh, you know, the chain making money. So everyone here on the team, you know, for the most part is making money. And when I first got started, I, you know, I didn't want to tell nobody else about it. You know, I saw you posting a couple of times, like I said, sharing the different success stories, and I'm like, I had sold on eBay before, but um, kind of like Aida said, the whole running to the post office and pricing your products and you get there the shipping cost is more and so that's eating into your profits and it was just it just was not working so that was back in 2006 and I had did that for like maybe like a year and shut my store down so I knew what you know eBay was all about you know everybody knows eBay everybody knows Amazon so those are reputable companies and I think I had actually I'm like what are you selling over there are you sure it's working and I think you had just sold like a toaster or something and I'm like okay people are buying toasters on of Amazon you know, or eBay, I can do this. So I got started within like 48 hours. I had made my first sale. So I was excited about that. And then I, I know like my second month within the company, I had almost did like a $900 profit. You know, this was going into like the holiday season as well. You know, and I'm, and I'm coming up on a year. Next, next week will be my one year anniversary with being with this company. 
And, you know, of course, you know, everyone, I have to say your results are going to are going to vary. But I was doing that with just doing and building this business part time with my goal was to list, you know, 10 items a week, you know, because I didn't have a lot of time. So it was like, OK, let me see if I can sneak in time before the kids wake up in the morning or on the weekend before they get up. And that's what I did. I decided to, you know, I had to schedule it in when you want something you have, to, you know, you have to go out there and, you know, put in the work in order for you to get the results. And by the time January came, you know, I was kind of like doing it behind the scenes, you know, like on a hush hush, hush hush. And by the time January came, you were getting ready to do a boot camp. And I was making some good money around that time. And I was like, you know what? Why not share this with other people? You know, why not? Because I had been in so many other opportunities where people were not making money. And I just saw DS domination as a vehicle where others could do that, where I could bring them into this opportunity and not have to worry about them failing. You know, because a lot of times we would sign people up in these other opportunities knowing that unless they were not working, you know, unless they had a full time time on their hand to actually build the business that they weren't going to have some success. So it was like we were selling. I feel like I was selling people pipe dreams that it wasn't going to happen. So with DS domination is it's different. And just being able to hear, you know, different team members calling me that they made the first sale. Sometimes it's like one o'clock in the morning because they forget you know, the time difference on them. I'm like, okay, I'm excited for you. You know, they're making up for sales. Um, you know, they're, they're well, one of my team members. Her dad is is sick, but she's able to with her eBay sales, able to travel back and forth home and you know help with his medical bills and stuff. So it's just like you know the little things like that. You know, it's like it's not even about me. You know, it's about being able to help so many other people go out there and whatever it is that they need, if it's just an extra $500 a month, extra $1,000 a month, knowing that we have a solution that they can actually do that. So I'm excited about this opportunity and sharing it and, you know, all that stuff. Because like I said, I wanted nothing to do with anything that looked like it was network marketing. And I was like, I'm never doing any hotel meetings, none of this stuff no more. Now, now, now look at me. It's like, okay, Thursday night, Atlanta, we are live and, you know, sharing this opportunity because not just, you know, so we can reach more people, not just online, but we can also reach them offline. So I have, you know, of course, talked enough, <laughs> you know, could continue just sharing more and more just what it has allowed me to do this year as far as like travel and, you know, as you know, I'm planning my upcoming trip to the Bahamas as well with my family. So we're, you know, I'm excited about this opportunity and the lives that we're changing. Right. So what, what, what traveling have you done? Because like I told ladies earlier, you know, tonight's about, you know, the life-changing events. What have you guys done this year? What have you done with the money? Okay, so um, need to be buying a Mac computer, so that's my next thing on the list of things to do with the money. But, you know, this year, um, before DS Domination, I used to work for an airline as, as an accountant. So I used to be able to travel. So I'm not able to, I wasn't able to do that as much, especially with a family of four. You know, traveling from here, you, like you said, them airline tickets like six hundred dollars. You know, that's the truth. You know, me and my family flying from here to Vegas, and there's four of us. That's like twelve hundred dollars, and that's not even rental car food or any of that. So, you know, this year I was able to make not just one, but three trips back home. You know, I was able to take my kids out there and leave them there for the summer. I went out there and partied it up for my birthday. You know, got to hang out with family and friends, and then my sister graduated this year so I was able to go home as well then and you know be there for her graduation so you know and that is just it, it was exciting you know to be able to do that and not have to worry about where the money was going to come from that I knew that okay if I need to make X amount of money this more this month I know I need to go out there and list more items on eBay you know have more items on my in my store available so I have a solution you know so even when I take a break I could take a break one week and it's like, hey, the money is still coming in, relisting items and stuff. So DSD has, you know, has allowed that. And, you know, um, so there, you know, there's five, well, taking also um, another relative with us to our cruise that we're doing. So there's a total of six of us, you know, that I'm able to say, hey, you know, DS Domination is going to play for this, you know, this trip to the Bahamas. I'm going to make it happen. So I'm excited about that. That's awesome. Totally awesome, Lakeisha. Awesome. Thanks so much for coming and joining us tonight. You guys go over to ATL. Is it UOP ATL events? I posted it on the... What's ATL UOP events.com. Yeah. Go there tonight and um, 
and get registered and join Lakeisha and the Atlanta team at that amazing event. Um, I would, like I said, I'm I'm way out in Seattle, and I'm seriously, like seriously, I went to look at the tickets. Okay, I should have put an alert so for them to let me know when it goes to a certain price. So, because just to hang around people, you know, I I believe in. Um, I, I believe in investing in, in, in just, you know, into different people and, you know, just to be around different people. So, awesome. Miss Sonia Jennings and Alicia, we got two more. I got two more ladies left. Chandy must have got dropped off. I don't know what happened to her. Chandy must have been known. What's going on, Miss Sonia Jennings? Oh, making my schedule for tomorrow to go visit a thrift shop. <laughs> Now people are going to the thrift store, okay? Like, yeah, you didn't look what you didn't started, okay? The thrift store shoppers, okay? Nice. <laughs> so that's gonna be on your schedule for tomorrow. What else are you doing tomorrow? Oh yeah. Well, um, cooking. I was planning on going scanning, but I might do it after the hangout tonight. <laughs> that's bad. It's, what time is it there? It's just a little late. Um, it's about 7.50, but you know we have a 24-hour Walmart, so. Oh, yes, yes, my love, my love, okay. Yeah. Awesome. So what's been going on in your business? How long have you been involved, and what what would you have to, what's your verdict on this? How has this company changed your life? This, well, this company has changed my life. Not um, only, of course, making money is exciting, and um, that's what I do full-time. Um, but one thing I, I've really um, just so enjoyed about being part of this team and just being part of DS Domination and the UOP is all of the, the self-development that I've um, done, you know, personally for myself. There's a lot of things that was going on. And, um, you know, sometimes you need that encouragement. You need um, to hear other people's story to know that you're not going through what you're going through alone. Um, I have people that send me messages sometimes that they're praying for me. So definitely building relationships and just connecting um, with women from all different walks of life. And so it has become for me more than just making the money. Of course, making the money is important, but the relationships that I'm building, it's, it's, it's uh, my favorite word. I always say it's priceless. Um, I am so happy that I'm part of the uh, UOP. I'm happy that I found DS Domination. And actually, um, I didn't have to quit my job. I was laid off, and this just happened to, you know, I found it on YouTube, and I, you know, I just decided to run with it. Of course, I put it on the side for a couple of months, and then finally just jumped in it in February of this year, and um, it's exciting. I mean, it's opened up a lot of different doors for me, so absolutely, this company, um, I don't beg people to join for $20, because I just think that $20 is a chance that you want to invest in on yourself and so um, I really don't I just I, I don't and like I said I don't explain to them I send them the video and let them make the decision and so um tonight I'm hoping that everyone that's um, on our hangout has clicked the join our team button or have gotten back with the person that in, that invited them because this business again it's not just about the business the relationships that you're gonna build we have so much going on in the unit of prosperity for the people that don't understand or didn't know what UOP stands for is the unit of prosperity founded by um, our leader Reginald Stenson and um, it is just a phenomenal phenomenal I've never seen anything like it and so this business completely surprised me because I thought it was going to be just another business you know sell on eBay and then now we have the sell on Amazon but um, relationships is important to me and for me growing as a woman um, it's good to hear from other women and to hear their side of the stories and to see what they've gone through in life that you can we can always learn I try to learn something every single day and so it has been absolutely uh, just unbelievable for me I absolutely love it and I, I'm in it until it goes away <laughs> which the chances of either either of our um, either of our um, suppliers or our selling platforms right the chance right. of those selling platforms going away, um, there's no, I mean, I would, I mean, it ha definitely have to be, you know, America would have to fall off the scene or something. <laughs> like, like, we'd have to float away or something. So, exactly. awesome. You were laid off. You said you were laid off, Sonia? Yes, I was. I was laid off um, last year, October. Okay. And, um, and it was really our whole, um, our whole department got laid off. And, um, 
my husband told me he was like, well, just wait until you know January of this year and see you know if you want to go back to work and find a job and. You know, of course, I had to convince him of me staying home. You've heard I've t we've talked about it before, um, because losing such a, a big income, you know, it kind of you know kind of hurt us. Um, but I mean, we haven't wanted for anything. Uh, this, I mean, this platform is like I told you right before the before the hangout started. I, I'm selling one product right now on eBay, but it's selling like, I mean, I probably sold maybe about eight of them. You know. For the past a day and a half, and it's just one product that I'm selling, and so it's just it, it's what you make out of it. And I know anything that you join, you have to take action. You can't just let it sit there. It's not going to work for you. It's not an autopilot that you're just going to sit down and you have to put in some type of effort. And so, absolutely, the investment for 20 bucks, um, you can't you know you can't beat it. Right. So, um, yeah, we we definitely talked about. So do you? I remember at one time that we um we talked about your you know your husband saying like you know this this you know this has to work right and at that time you know what has changed because I know at, at that time I mean we could see the potential of it working right I don't think Genesis was out at that point when we talked last I think it was just eBay it was just Monopoly we were up to a Monopoly at that point so now with our with our you know honcho our you know gigantic product that's out now. Genesis, now, what is the conversation like with your husband as far as will you be able to financially, you know, contribute um, like you want to with this company now? Oh, absolutely. And um, what you're talking about the Genesis product, I sometimes I have to like look at him strange because he's like, you have your phone? Are we going to do some scanning? I'm like, we're going grocery shopping. We're not going scanning. We're going grocery shopping. And so he'll go, you know, go one way in the grocery store while I'm doing my thing. And then he'll come and say, hey, can you scan this? <laughs> can you see what kind of profit we're going to make? And so, of course, the conversation has changed. Wow. And um, it, it, it's just unbelievable. You know, I have my little scanner app that I, you know, I, I, you know, I check, you know, from uh, my Amazon seller. And, you know, I'll show it to him. And, you know, he just got that big old smile on his face. Um, and so it's definitely the conversation has changed definitely because he was like, um, you're gonna have to go find a job if this thing doesn't work out, you know. And so of course, I haven't let go of the eBay, but the the Amazon one is just it's exciting. It's like you know, because uh, Ayeda talked about thrift shop, and I was like, oh, thrift shop. Let me put that on my list real quick for me to go do that tomorrow because that's another avenue. And you know. Um, there's products all over. I mean, I've sold something from my home. I was gonna. My daughter got a new cell phone, so I had the um, the old iPhone 4, and I sold it for 119 dollars on eBay. Wow. And so, of course, I mean, it's just open up. And I'm in Genesis. Oh my goodness, Genesis is a beast. That's what that's what I call it. Yeah. That's what I call it. That Genesis. Is Genesis what I'm making on what I'm making with Genesis per month is is equivalent to what I was making as a project a manager in, in corporate America and that was six figures and so what I'm making in Genesis monthly is so it is just it's unbelievable that's why you haven't heard from me because you know I was going to be calling you say what, what am I going to tell my husband so of course you know, like I I know. Said, <laughs> right. So, you know, this this is the cool thing you all about, you know, our community is that like many of us got started, like we started together. Like we like, you know, for lack of a better explanation, we gave birth together, right? We we all came out the womb was like, Oh, what do we do? Where do we go? You know, what you know, we all got and then now to get, you know, to where we are now to see like we just, you know, not saying it was like super easy and you know, everything just fell in our laps. Some of us had to go through and it's still going through, you know, some some troubling times and stuff, but we know that this system, this works, right? We absolutely know for Sonya to be because I remember this the conversation we had when, probably when I first started winning women network. I wanna say is when we had the conversation, it was like my husband saying, like, if I don't you know, if this doesn't work then, you know, I gotta you know, I have to make this work. And it was like, Okay, I'm going you know, I'm gonna make this work. Right, yeah. and yeah. to see now we're nine months later, it's life changing, right? It's like there's no way you're gonna think about going to get a job when you got your husband at the store scanning, and you know the same thing happens in my house. My husband, my husband never touched MLM, like he never, he never once supported one company that I was totally in, 
and now he has his own app, right? He bought his own membership, and he has a scanning app on his phone, which is in our Genesis product. This is what you will learn once you buy Genesis, is that he has his own app on his phone, and he will go to the stores, and then he'll come back with bags, and he'll be like, babe, I, all, this stuff, you know, it has a profit. And so we just send stuff in, right? And it's just a constant, um, but it's a, it's a business. And I had a, I had a thing that says, you know, this family that scans together pray, stays together. <laughs> you know? So, so we, uh, we're glad that that is working out for you, Sonia. I'm so excited, you guys. And this is what happens, right? This is what we want to talk about is the life changing, right? Now she doesn't have to go punch a clock. Nobody wants to get, well, some people do want to punch a clock. I don't have any, uh, any ill feelings for people who want to punch clocks, right? So don't let me, don't make me think that, don't think that I'm against jobs. I'm not, right? Because there's people have to, there's some things that people have to do and somebody has to work and that's just it. I'm just, don't want to be one of those people, okay? <laughs> so that's just all I got to say. Um, I'd rather work for myself. I'd rather build my own dream. That's just me. I don't, you don't have to do that. Um, awesome. So we're going to hurry up and we're going to end because I got a, I got a gift card. I have to give away, you guys. And people are waiting. I can see all the messages. People are posting about the gift cards. So you guys, I, you need to go to Facebook, okay? If you haven't posted on your wall on Facebook, we are giving away a $50 gift certificate to someone that's on the thing out tonight. I already know what I'm going to do. I know how I'm going to give it away. I got it all worked out. So don't think that this is not going down tonight. You're not going to have to wait till Monday night, okay, to find out who won because this should go really quick because you got to move quick, okay, because one of my things I love to teach people is money like speed. So tonight, you should not be hemming and hawing about a $19.95 decision, okay? If you're here tonight, because like Sonya said, that's not, that's not really anything, anything to have a conference call about. That's why when people be like, well, Keisha, can you get on the phone and talk to me? Talk to you about spending $20? Well, I can talk about. <laughs> what is there to talk about? No, stop. But, you know, so, you know, some people have been, I understand. And, you know, I had to come to, uh, I had to have a come to Jesus. And stuff, and understand that people have been scammed. There's different things that have happened and things with people. So I do have empathy towards that. So I don't think I'm insensitive. But I do have in the back of my head this thought that I didn't have to call anybody about spending $20, right? Even if it was a scam, $20 is really wasn't going to be no big scam for me, <laughs> right? If you're going to scam me, please go for thousands. Don't go for $20 because I don't want to go to jail for $20, okay? <laughs> And you know what? That's the thing, Keisha. You know, you were saying that because you have spent all this money, right? You have spent thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars doing all this other stuff that didn't work, and then you go hesitate about twenty. That does not make sense, right? So, <laughs> and I, don't, I mean, I'm you talking about don't choke up over twenty bucks. No, don't. Please don't. I have a company I got into. You all, my husband still don't know how much money I paid to get in that company. Please don't tell him, okay? Do not, do not send him the replay of this hangout because he's not watching because I know he's at church. So don't send him the replay of this. But yeah, he if, he if he had known, you know, the money we spent to get in a company that we made zero dollars. I mean zero. Not we didn't need not twenty dollars. We didn't made zero dollars in this company, and I spent a good portion, okay, of money that you know I should not have. I should not have, right? Um, but that's a whole nother story. But get started tonight, all right? Alicia. Woohoo! You last but not least. Hey, can you hear me? Certainly not least. Because you, my dear, are you stand between me and the winner of the gift certificate tonight. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's pressure, but I can handle that. <laughs> so how about what has this company, how has this company changed your life? Besides, you know, the money that you've made, what has changed about? Well, what hasn't changed? Um, let me just say that I am a classical introvert. I don't really like to talk too much out of high and by. I don't really do the big crowd thing, you know, I, I, I say my few words and I keep it moving. I'm, I'm definitely not into the marketing. I was not into, you know, doing the at-home marketing thing or trying to recruit people. That was not my thing. And one of the things that this company has done for me has helped me open up more. I'm able to 
honestly have a conversation with people and it's all based on my excitement of the examination and um, you know for me honestly that may not be a big thing for some people but it's big for me it, it really is because I really had a problem talking to people um, another thing that the examination has done for me is give me the freedom of choice uh, I, mean, I you know, our finances here, you know, being underemployed or not making the amount of money that you want to make and you have a toddler at home, you have daycare expenses, you have all these bills coming up and just having the freedom of being able to pay a bill or have an unexpected car repair, which I've had since the domination. I've had a car repair situation where probably months before I would have looked at it and said, well, how am I going to pay this? I don't have the money for this. But since being a de examination, I was able to take my car to the shop, get my repair done, and not worry about it. And that was all because of de examination being in my life. And that's just awesome. That's, I mean, you, you, can't, you can't put a price tag on that. That's security for a, a family. That's security. And that's twenty dollars I spent. I spent twenty dollars to join the examination, and I would spend that twenty dollars over and over and over for this program. Um, people probably don't understand because you know may, this may be their first hangout, or they're just now finding out about the examination. I'm telling you, it will change your life. It will change your life. You're gonna be linked with a family and I apologize for the noise my toddler is playing with her blocks and I'm just trying to keep her you know <laughs> but um, you know this is a family we can talk about anything we talk about you know our eBay business we talk about our mindset we talk about how we want our lives to change we dream and we share our dreams and we keep each other accountable and you don't find that in a lot of at-home businesses. A lot of times they just want you to pay your membership and keep it moving. Bring three people in and keep it moving. You don't have that heart-to-heart, -heart, that one-on-one -on -one interaction that we have with the Unit of Prosperity. And I'm sorry, I pay more than $20 for that. Mm -hmm. That's priceless to me. Okay. So it, besides the money on eBay, which is great, and sales are increasing, you know, I again the connection. My sponsor, she's she's sort of like uh, I guess a, an older sister. I can text her, I can contact her whenever I have anything going on, and she's available. You know, Aida, she's on my team. When we spoke on the phone, you know, she explained how I was very passionate about what DS Domination was doing, and that was back in March. And it's now October, and I'm still as passionate, if not more, today, okay, it, for something that has not died down for you. This is, this is real. This is real stuff. If you're looking for something that's not just going to help you put money in your pocket, but something that you want to say, I feel good about this type of work. I feel like I'm making a change in someone. Uh, if I'm just helping one person who could benefit from this, then I, twenty dollars. You you spend that in McDonald's. Come on, that that's just that's a no brainer. I want no excuses. You know, I get people contacting me. I have a list. People email me. Well, I you know I know about the examination, but is it worth twenty dollars? Is that stick of Mac lipstick worth twenty dollars? Uh, is that stick of Mac lipstick gonna get you to pay bills that you need to pay? Give you that extra money for that vacation you want? I don't think so. <laughs> you know, de examination is a tool, is a life changing tool that you need in your life. And just for me and mine, my husband could tell you it's been a blessing for us. If I could just cap it off, de examination has been a blessing. Nice. Yeah, that, that's life changing, honestly, because for someone to say that they are an introvert and have and have having one of her sponsored members on the hangout with her tonight, the intro. That's right. That's that you know, that's a lot, right? Because because that's life changing, because that skill set you can take not just from in here, which is cool, but that's something that now you can take and now your whole life is changed 
through this opportunity, right? Yeah, exactly. That's, that's amazing. I mean, besides the money, you know, like I said, it's, it's really all about, you know, at the end when you get down to it, I always tell people, it's not about your car's broken down. You know, it's not about you need new tires. It's not about any of those things. It's about you don't have the money to do it. That's where the problem is, right? Because if you have the money, you just go and pay the stuff. It doesn't become a stress factor for you because you just go say, hey, okay, I need new tires. All right, here you go. Can you give me some new tires? Can you come pick car up and get the car? You know, and, and I don't even have to be involved in that, right? That's what, a mon that's what money does for you. So that's why we said at the beginning of the Hangout, it's really not about the money. It's what can the money do for you. So it's when you need to, you know, I think one of our very next I'm going to mute you out, Alicia. Um, when I'm um, Carrie's, I think Carrie's wife, you know, needed new tires or something, and he just goes and gets the new tires. It's right. It's about what the money can do for you. Okay. It's about traveling. You know, Keisha going back and forth to Las Vegas. Plane tickets are expensive. I don't care who you are. You know, it's about that. It's about Shawnette being able to take her kid, her, you know, her send her girl to Chicago. I think you actually went with them. So it's like, you know, to be able to do those type of things, your girls can stay in dance. Right? That's about what the money can do for you. Sonia doesn't have to go back to punch a nine to five as a project manager, which is stress all by itself because you're managing other people's projects, right? And if you're managing my project, you know, it'd be like, I know you'd be stressed out. You'd be like, this chick is crazy. You know, but it's it's having the choice. See, that's that's what it's all about. It's about having the choice because you can choose now, do you want to go and punch a clock or not? If you decide you want to go, then that's up to you, right? But it's all about some people, um, and maybe you're watching the Hangout tonight, you're forced to do it. So tomorrow, right now, you're agonizing as you're watching this Hangout and you're just like, oh my God, I have to go to work tomorrow, so can you please hurry up and give out the Amazon gift card so I can go to bed, so I can get you know get up to that 4 a.m. alarm clock, the 5 a.m. alarm clock, even at 6 a.m., that's too early, you guys. But anyways, <laughs> but you're agonizing right now tonight because you've got to get up, and go somewhere tomorrow that you absolutely hate, right? And then there's the, the most heart attacks happen on Monday morning. If you go and look at the research, the most of them happen on Monday morning. Why? Because people are getting up, having to go somewhere that they don't want to go. It's an 80% percentage, okay, because I looked at it. 80% of people are going to jobs that they absolutely hate. That, can, that is not life. So you have to do something about it, though, because so, you complaining – won't do anything about it, right? So tonight, you know, we present it to you an opportunity to start one step, take one step. Where do I get started? Get started at the pro level, right? That's many of us are at Genesis. You don't have to come in and get to Genesis, right? The cool thing about our company: start where you can, get at the 1995 level, make some money, and then you know, you the progression begins. Okay? We give you all you need right there in the beginning. We're not going to try and you know and you know and you know, put some kind of dangling carrot for you to go to the next level. If you, you know, no, start at the pro level, but I want you to get started tonight, okay? That's what I want you to do. And then once you get started, we have a Facebook group over, are we at 15,000 people yet? I think it might be like, we might be at like almost 15,000 people in our Facebook group that we'll be so excited to welcome you into the group and stuff. Let me know that you were invited, that you got started from the Winning Women Network. Hang out, okay? And I'll be so excited. So get started. Click join now. But listen, those are some people. Wait, wait. Hold on. I oh. want to interrupt you right quick because I know you're about to do the uh, the uh -oh. giveaway. But I want to do a little twist on you. Because uh -oh. I noticed that you didn't even say anything about yourself tonight. But, you know, for the most part, everybody knows you. All they can do is, all they have to do is Google Keisha Bath and they'll find out about you. So I want to do a little twist tonight with the with the women that are up here. Oh, Lord. Uh, no, I mean, I just want to do a twist because, you know what, we talked about the company. And what we don't realize is that up here today, we're a part of your vision, which is the Women Women's Network. That's your vision. And so what I want to be able to do, is, since we got some women up here, and I know I'm part of your team directly, and then I know um, Lakeisha's a part of your team directly, but I want to make sure that we pour into you because you pour into us so much all the time. And because I watch you, obviously, because you know, I'm part of your um, church. We go to church together, and I watch you. And I watch you online. You just continually go for the women, and all you trying, you just pouring out and thinking. You're always thinking that you're not doing enough for us. And so I want to make sure that you know that we're here, um, since we're here, and we're already going overtime, so we can go over time a little bit more. I know most of us are trying to get to another webinar, but we, that webinar can wait. Right now, we need to sit there and pour into you and let you know what you've done for us, 
because I know half of us wouldn't even be here had you not have taken that stand and really took that campaign a year ago. You know, because I'm one of the ones that you sent the link to, and because of who you are, I stopped and I said, you know, because I trust you and I trust your judgment, and I trust your leadership. I stopped and took a chance on it, and my life has changed because of you, because of the person that you became and that you chose to take and run with this. You know, you didn't have to, but you did because you saw a vision. You saw a vision for not for the women and for families, and so for and also because you know. I'm not going to go to the personal, but we have a relationship that goes beyond our church relationship. I met Keisha, um, the way I met her was not, to, you know, it was a different relationship. But the thing is, I appreciate it about Keisha is because she got my face and was real about some stuff. And she was, you know, was real with me and honest with me. And because of that, her honesty, her honesty was, was the truth that I needed. Um, and where it was coming from, it was real. And because of her honesty, I'm free today. And I'm grateful for her for her honesty and her realness. And so I wanted to make sure that I said that, especially publicly, but then I want the other women to come up and pour into you as well because you pour out so much to everybody else. So whoever wants to take it next, go on. <laughs> well, I'm going to take it. Um, one thing, um, I met Keisha. Keisha reached out to me. She saw a video of mine, and, and I had been actually watching her. She didn't know that I, had, I watch a lot of her videos on YouTube. And um, one thing I like about her, she is, she is so unselfish. Like, um, and I know she's a woman of God, and I know we're connected on that level. That was the first level we're connected on, not just domination. And she didn't know that I was going through such a hard time this summer. And of course, I didn't put it out there. I may have said something about my son every once in a while on, on, um, on Facebook. But we were going through one of those times where I pretty much had to like just drop my business and just focus on a lot of things that were happening. And one day, I was checking out Facebook because I was still on Facebook, but I was on Facebook like very rarely, just part-time. And she didn't know. I was sitting here, and I checked my Facebook, and I got a message from Keisha. And all it said, and I was thinking, okay, Lord, this had to have been you because there's no way I didn't tell anyone. Um, I used.